like a big ass. You got a big ass, so there might be. Less I got a big more. ass that you've never taken advantage you of. You got a. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't feel it must it must not be big I enough. <laughs> Well, guys, looks like Russia's going to save us. <laughs> yeah, well, they've always been good to us, haven't they? I, I think so. I mean, they only threatened us with like 30 years of Cold War. <laughs> but but before that, make sure you subscribe, comment, like, share, whatever the, helps the algorithms. The to be fair, I say only like. <laughs> I say only like it if you like it. But right. still share this shit. Even if you don't like it, share it. What do you mean what are we talking about? What are you talking about? The Russia thing. They're gonna they're gonna save us. From you what? haven't heard? You haven't heard the big news? They're gonna save us from the virus, bro. Yeah, dude. The coronavirus. The, yeah, they have a they have a vaccine and it's it's like getting ready for like widespread use. And not just in Russia. So you, good. That means shit can open back up and I can start with my life normally again. Are you gonna use the uh are you cool with it being from Russia? I don't give a fuck. I'm not getting the vaccine. Means, oh, well, then I don't, <laughs> then how the fuck are you gonna just live your life? <laughs> Because everybody else is going to get it and everything's going to be normal again and things are going to open back up and everybody's going to be wearing so masks. You're gonna fine. Fine. He's going to skip ride. out on it. But no, he made it seem like I'm first one in line. Like, beat me up. And he's like, I'm not getting that shit. But oh. everything will be open. I, yeah, happy. I wasn't I was going that way. Shows oh, wow. will be a thing again. And, yeah. But what if, like, everybody was like you, though? They're well, I mean, there are going to be people that don't want it. That's understandable. Do you have any reservations about it coming from Russia? No, I don't. What about you, Bobby? It could come from fucking Venezuela. It can come from Australia. It can come from Cuba. Because he ain't taking it. it doesn't right. Matter. It doesn't matter. So, I mean, I get him in that regard. If you're not going to take it, it doesn't fucking matter who made it. Um, I don't have any reservations that it's coming from Russia. I mean, it's, it is peculiar. Because you know all the shit with apparently, like, Russia rigged the election results and shit. Russia being, or Trump being in Russia's pocket. Right. Shit like that. Because... Russia's obviously in control there. Right. Trump isn't telling Putin to do anything. But, um, <laughs> no, nah, I mean, if it's going to work, like Jimmy said, I don't care where it's coming from. Um, I will say I'd take it, but it would have to be, I couldn't be like the first batch. I'd probably have to be like trial 100, and each trial is 100,000 people. Right. In front of me. So right. I want to be at the very end of that shit. I'd let it go for a while, and then... I probably would probably try to do what Jimmy does and not get it. Are like, you guys I, I, like flu shot people? No, I've never had a flu no, Maybe never as a kid, shot. I've never as a I think I did when I was younger. Yeah, I don't remember I think. if my parents took me to get a flu shot, but I but, know as an adult, I've yeah. never been like as a, that. As a person? Hey, Walgreens, y'all got them flu shots yet? Hook me up. No, I'm just... And, and in a way, the coronavirus is more devastating i guess i mean flu hasn't affected the whole world at one time but not like this yeah also at the same time i don't give a fuck like if coronavirus was gonna take me out it was gonna take me out like i've done i've done the precautions that they say we need to take out warm mask before that i was washing my hands like i wash my hands in general if i go to the bathroom shit like that but i right. did a little bit more frequently I tried to carry hand sanitizer there was like i said before they said that everybody had to wear masks i wasn't wearing masks and i was in the supermarkets, like in and out. But once they said we had to wear masks, I didn't have a problem complying. I'm not one of those people that's like, oh Can't no, they're taking away our freedom. And I'm not, what freedom? Like, you fucking wear your seatbelt. Well, not everybody. <laughs> but you know what I mean. Yeah, you probably should. You don't smoke in buildings. You don't just light up just because you want to smoke. Right. You listen to your fucking government in that case. So. You see all the Facebook pictures of people like, they're like, oh, I, my hands are blistering from the amount of hand sanitizer I'm mm. using. Well, that's probably that's just, too much. I'm just like, dirty. That's Jesus too much, Christ, dude. Like, that's yeah, just like, too much. Just lay off the sanitizer. Like, just <laughs> be smart about it. It's just, it's just ridiculous. Well, that's the thing. Russia is going to be able to, to get us a vaccine faster, but people are saying that it may not be safe because they're not testing it. They're not testing it on, like, large groups of people first because you, I guess you have to – but it's passing all the tests, you know. You know what? They're probably they're testing it on people. That motherfucker is getting tested in Russia. Right. If you if you say North Korea has given us a virus, but it's not getting tested, I can tell you one part of that sentence not fucking true, and that's that it's not getting tested. Right. Places like that is getting fucking tested. They're rounding up whole families in the middle of the night, <laughs> shooting them up with corona. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then the next day they're hitting with that virus. So I don't – it's getting tested in Russia, trust me. <laughs> they got plenty of – willing participants for this virus now do you that, think that uh so you know like how we didn't go to the moon but we said that we did mm -hmm. and <laughs> hey we hey, had to the hey if you're a flat earther out there and you think we're living in a dome like comment subscribe because we didn't go to the moon we're, we got your back <laughs> and because you know that was part of the space race right which you know, a lot of people were saying that the space race wasn't real. We didn't actually go to the moon. We can't get through a certain point of radiation to get through it. And, you know, like, you know, I, I guess the dome, the flat, what's the flat earth? The dome. And it's like, I, I, I guess Antarctica surrounds the like dome. Antarctica surrounds the whole world. And you, that's why we can't go to Antarctica, because then we know the truth and shit like. But don't, haven't they been in Antarctica, like flown over it and. I don't know, man. Like the I mean, scientists, I've never flown over it. Yeah. the scientists are there, and they, of course they can say <laughs> anything. Right. But um, when it comes to like the space race, and and I don't know, I wasn't thinking this earlier because we did talk about it briefly before we started recording. But um, like I'm how? Shoes. Well, nigga, I'm in a house. But you're like barefoot. Well, I had on fucking slide. Where are my shoes? I don't remember taking them off. Oh, right I know there. I have them, they're but right I didn't just walk here. They're a good spot. But um, I, I don't know the exact details of when Russia sent a dog or a fly or whatever into space for when they cracked that orbit versus because they did it first, right? Right, they cracked the orbit first. Whatever they sent out there, and I think even man, they sent the person, an actual human out there. Yeah. But I don't know the the time gap between that and America sending people to the moon. Like if Russia sent. A dude to outer space because I know they, that when he came back, got burnt up in the right. witcher face. Like I've seen those photos, and it's a long story. I, it's not my normal shit. That's Jimmy's type of shit. How but, did, um, why you, you looked that up? I didn't look. But where are the pictures? How did who took the what's the picture? Oh well, no, when when they recovered the 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 craft went. So it went it, into orbit and then it came back. I thought that they back. just shot it off and it and it left. They it just went into orbit and it was gone. No, like when they did it for people. Like maybe when they did it with the dog, yeah. they didn't have that technology and they, they did it with the dog. Shot. Yeah, they, yeah, they, they, yeah, they did it. They they, they sent animals. Like yeah, they sent animals into the. Because you know animals are inferior to humans. Oh, right. So their lives matter less That's in terrible. the grander scheme of things. Right. But um. <laughs> So when the dude, I, like like I didn't yours. say I didn't value animals, certain animals' lives over other people. I'm yeah. just saying in the grander scheme of things, if I had to pick boy between, cats not getting to heaven, Ron is. If I had to pick between boy <laughs> cats, probably, that's probably Ron's never that's killed probably anyone, true. <laughs> as far as we know, that's probably true. Though. Boy cats good at the killing. Yeah. So. And but he doesn't think he does, it's another it's just a it's snack a for him. It's yeah, it's, it's fine. Not even a it's snack, not even a snack. You don't eat that shit. Not, but when the vessel came back <laughs> and they had some. the dude's remains there, like he's like laying on a table and he's burnt to a fucking. But crisp, he knew that that obviously. was what was going to happen. Right. Well, he was in Russia, so he might not have he known. Probably, that he that probably thought back. like, "I'm going to be head home. Wait, wait, what?" <laughs> yeah, in Russia. He might not have known. But but like, what if the gap was like they sent dude to space one week, and then the very next week America's. Americans sent the person to the moon. Like, what, like, what's the gap between it? Because, like, could we have been first and we just weren't, tr you know what I mean? Like, we just didn't think Russia was there, so that's how they got there first. So, I don't, I don't think we went. You don't think we went to the moon? Not the first time. Well, we've only been once, bro. So then we've never been. We've been 12 times. You've been to the actual moon say, 12 what times? What the fuck you mean one time? Like, I'm pretty sure I was right about that. Like, one well, time, like, well, no, I just, I don't fucking, no, I, I. Okay, so we have a, a lineage of the space I'm just race. I'm trying to include myself in this I found on this is space. We're trying to bring it back to the coronavirus, but now we're going down a different rabbit hole. Fucking big-ass so, rabbit hole. Yeah, 1955, the USS responds to the U.S. announcement that they intend to launch the first artificial satellite into space. A satellite of their own. Yeah, it makes sense. 1957, yeah, USSR launches Sputnik, beating uh, the first or it's the first Earth orbit satellite in history. 1957. Uh, 1957, USS they launched Sputnik 2. January 5th, 1958, the U.S. Center Space Launching Explorer 1, which is another satellite. Where's the moon? Let's get to the moon. So okay. Uh, Ham, a U.S. chimpanzee. In 1961, a chimpanzee becomes the first humanoid or a great ape in space for the first time to successfully survive the landing. And that was Russia or was us? U.S. U.S. 
1961, the U.S., uh, the Soviet Union, to achieve a clear triumph in the space race aboard Yostok, Yostok 1, Yuri Gargari, Gargarian, makes a uh, single orbit around the Earth and becomes the first man to reach space. Yeah. He remains he, he's, he's dead. in space for one hour and 48 minutes, landing in Sobotov, Russia. That's the guy that died. That's the dude. How come they don't explain this? So he was the first one in Russia, uh, or he was the first one who broke that, that orbit. Yeah. Interesting. And then, yeah, the U.S. had a pilot-controlled journey. Yeah, it was basically like each, each time they increased their, right, their technology. You start with the satellite, which right. doesn't have to be manned. I guess that's just to see if you can crack the spheres, the stratospheres, the atmosphere, right. whatever the different spheres. And then you start with lesser creatures. Like right. They're still living things, obviously. But that, it still gives you a much better idea like in real-world right. experience of what's going to happen. Right. Do you Which think is, the Earth is flat? The, Do you yeah. think the Earth is flat? No. Do you? I think it's a triangle. No, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, hold up. Is it a I've flat? never heard triangle. Listen, triangle. No, this is a flat triangle like this. This is the Earth, or is it like this? It's a round triangle. The fuck is a round <laughs> triangle? That's what it is. <laughs> or is it? I have my like, views. I, I, have, I, have, <laughs> my, I have my views. I have my views. I have my views. You my can't views. say shit. But you know, it's weird. It's weird. I know we're going further and further. We're gaping this rabbit's hole. Well, we're going but, back. Um, we're coming back. It's going to come back around. But listen. It all comes back around. I didn't think around. about the world being flat. I didn't think that there were people that was like, oh, the earth is flat. Until probably not even 10 years ago. Like, it was It's relatively like six, yeah. seven years ago. Like, but obviously, they've been there. But obviously, as kids, we thought that people thought the world was flat. Right. Until we circumnavigated it. And, um, but now we're fine. Well, then you found out that no one ever fucking thought that because people aren't dumb. Right. You know what I mean? They didn't have the technology we have now, but they weren't fucking idiots. Right. Like, you can right. see that a ship in the, the, the distance is, an is getting smaller and smaller, mm -hmm. and you're seeing less of it. Not just it's getting smaller, but you're saying, oh, now I can only see the fucking the flag because that means it's going around something. Mm -hmm. So, you know what I mean? But, like, Who's not what? You were saying they they weren't idiots. I was they like, weren't what, idiots. At what? Who? If people like back presume, when, like like how far back are you talking? You know, well, there's always gonna be idiots, but they're not as dumb as. No, I'm just saying. I'm making sure we're not talking about the same people that like would like. Oh, it's not raining, so the skies must be mad at us, so we need to cut somebody's throat. And well, don't get me wrong. <laughs> sacrifice, and <laughs> we well, can no, make it rain again. Time like, out. When it comes to yeah, religion, those types of people time are out, time fucking out, idiots. Up. When it comes to they're religion. When it comes to religion, human beings are just fucking retards. Like, it doesn't... If you think that... Like you just said, that's an example. There's probably, oh, it's raining. Let me go cut off my oldest son's head so my crops <laughs> won't drown. Those people yeah, those existed are... and still do yeah. in still some do. places. Yeah. But when it comes to, like, if the earth is flat, if um, how to get glass, you know, like, lightning struck the same... Like, people aren't dumb. Like, we came up with the wheel very early. We came up with fire. Very well. We didn't come up with it, but right. you know what I mean. Right. We, we saw it happen and be like, "Oh, Figured I don't out. have to eat this fucking bear cold. I can cook them. Shit like that." Yeah. So, people, like I said, in general, I don't think we're dumb. It's just that, from our modern standpoint, we like to think that we're the best. We're not. I don't know no niggas that they can make a pyramid. Everybody thinks that they're the best. That's like that's like they built the a biggest pyramid thing. in Las Vegas. Well, not the pyramids, though. They don't even know how those With that made. technology, right, with that technology. Like, we can build a pyramid. We don't, it doesn't have to be out of the same material. Like, fucking ancient Egyptians not going to get a fucking drawing, painting of boy cat on a fucking canvas from a picture that they took on their fucking iPhone. <laughs> but we don't know how to build a fucking pyramid. It's a trade-off. Yeah, yeah. It's definitely a trade-off. But they probably had aliens helping them, but... But you see, like, that progression of, like, the technologies happening. And so, obviously, they had Sputnik 1, Sputnik 2, Sputnik, whatever, you know. And now we're going to the vaccine race. And it's going to be called Sputnik. And now, apparently, so now that we had to, now that we prefaced it all with the space race and everybody knows. So, this vaccine, the Russia's, Russia's vaccine is called Sputnik 5, which is, like, you know, each uh, time they were one-upping the U.S. Now, so. can I ask, is that Sputnik 5... A continuation of those Sputnik numberings, or is this the fifth attempt at a virus? I don't know that. Because I don't even know what Sputnik means, that it has such prevalence in their culture, in their, I guess. Yeah. Every society on this earth has a culture. 
even the people on North Sentinel Island have a culture <laughs> that we'll never know because as soon as we show up, they hit us with arrows. But, um, yeah, they got some sort of society that they they got going. Are you looking up the Sputnik naming? Yeah, because that word's got to mean something. A traveling companion. Oh, no. Hell no, I don't want that vir- that vaccine then. Fuck no. That's a.k.a. GPS. They're putting a GPS in niggas' ass cheeks. I don't want that. <laughs> nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> I don't think they're doing it. <laughs> nope. Nope. Traveling okay. Bob companion, is back. bro. Bob is back. Traveling Thank companion. You. First time we get some good production value and Bob's coming. I totally Bob's get coming. naming the, your space program ships that. It's traveling. I guess it's a companion. Maybe their fucking ships talk to them. But a vaccine, bro? No, I don't need no traveling companion. Oh, so Sputnik 5 was I'll give, already something. I'll give myself Corona and let it kill me before I get Sputnik 5 in my ass, bro. Fuck that. Why has it got to be in your ass? Is that, is that where it is? I don't it know. Is? Maybe, is that that's, they said it? maybe it's less muscle in your ass. And more There's more muscle tissue. In your ass. I don't fucking know. Yeah, Sputnik I've never five. shot like a big ass. You got a big ass, so there might be. Less I got a big ass, more. but you've never taken advantage you of. You got it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't feel it must. It must not be big I'm enough. Sorry, I was, <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it for you. <laughs> I was back. right. I was gonna say it for you. <sighs> I'm so, not getting it. You're gonna get it though. I know. I know. You're gonna be. You're gonna be right on board. Keep going. I'll cut it later. Sputnik is traveling companion. Like I, I said, clap, I, I get it. I clapped. It was in a clusterfuck, but I clapped. Yeah. I get it when it comes to your 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 fucking space program, or if you made the first self-driving car or shit like that. But why the vir- vaccine? You know. They're trying to. Maybe just, I guess that it's just a throwback to. You know, they're, I guess, yeah, that's what I it mean, sounds like. They've been rubbing shit. But Fauci, who is the guy, you know, he's the guy, he, who's the who, guy. who we're listening. He's just the that's like the spokesman name. for the government. I bet he got picked on a lot in school. Hey, what's up, fellas? What he's the thing? doctor who up, they have, have speaking out for. Well, to you know. be fair, Pete kids do get picked on no matter what their name is. First name, last name. Don't let them find out your middle name. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, but if you That's got true. like a normal name, you're less likely to get picked on if your name is like Dick Johnson. Or Everybody's some shit. name Dick? is normal, though. Johnson? Dick, Dick Johnson, or if your name is like fucking. <laughs> How do you not make fun of Dick Johnson? Yeah, that's your what I'm name saying. was oh, Jimmy. Okay. Jimmy Lewis. Why we got a. What? So you never got picked on because of your name? No. What the fuck are you going to say? Jimmy Wimmy or something? What the fuck Probably. Is that? Hold up. I forgot. For example, Jimmy Wimmy. I would, we're yeah. adults, but children come up with shit to just say. Just say Number shit one, I to can't you. remember that far back, but I can fairly <laughs> confident. I can confidently say, I don't know of ever a time that I was picked on about my name. Were you ever picked on? Like some kids were probably, well, possibly. I never got on. bullied, and well, I'm not. And I'm say not just bullying. saying. No, I'm saying I never. Well, I was ever shoved in a locker. I was ever thrown in a bathroom. Well, no, that's definitely. Nobody ever threw their shit at me or something. <laughs> <laughs> I, hope, I, hope, I hope in your in your elementary school in the third grade no kid had shit thrown at them. I would hope no one ever did like in elementary school I can never remember a time that I was made fun of or whatever. In middle school I started getting all my goth stuff and everybody thought I was gonna put spells on them and shit. So, so they were free. Either they thought I looked cool. And they wanted to talk to me, or they thought I was going to cast some kind of spell and kill their family. I mean, but that's good, though. I mean, I don't and think any kid should get... When I got into high school, I was friends with everybody. Like, I, I didn't have the heat with nobody. Like, I was hanging out with the jocks. I was hanging out with the little thug guys. I was hanging out with my own goth people. I was hanging out with little preppy football players. Like, we would all they, we'd smoke weed together behind the fucking gym. Like, what I mean, I was you? just... I Nobody ever fucked with me. I was that one kid... I was always a kid that you wouldn't think would be hanging out with people or other people would hang out with. Like, like, oh, this football player is hanging out with him? Or what's he doing in that circle? Like, right, I was always right. that guy. You just kind of got along with everybody. I was cool. Well, I, was I mean, that's yeah. I mean, that's I had cool. my eyeliner and my rainbow hair and my right. fishnet. But my you were cool. Shirts, you but were you, but nobody you fucked, yeah, yeah, I was. Yeah. But were you friends with the uh, Green Day kids? Who? The Green Day kids. I, didn't, I wasn't friends with the Green Day kids. I don't know if they're sad little kids or something. You like, know, some of us need standards, Jimmy. 
Not the Green Day kids. I, I never had any issues with Come on. Real. No, no, no. No, fuck. Welcome to Paradise. No, 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 that, really? They're the shits. I that doesn't Green bother Day. you? No, yes, it not, does. Not a little. Well, he knows why I'm asking him. Yeah, because he knows I hate Green Day. And no, I not even that. I, I know that you said you guys used to give the Green Day kids shit. Not necessarily bullying, but you would give them shit because of their choice of music. Who? I never told you that. Nigga, you told me that, dog. <laughs> I never bu- make fun of or bully them. Yeah, n- nigga, bullying and making fun are not the same. Okay, so then what are the differences? When we pick on each bullying, other here, we're, we're not making bullying fun of each other. Right. We're not shoving you in a locker. Ron's not giving me a wedgie. That's fucking bullying. I'm not going to come here next week and shoot Ron. Right. 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 <laughs> right. That, that's not bullying. That's fucking murder. <laughs> well, no. <laughs> no, that's that's a reaction to bullying. <laughs> Uh, well, yeah. Niggas that go shoot up here. It was an extreme. It was an extreme. It was an extreme example. I want to clarify. School shooting violence is horrible. But the people that typically go shoot up schools weren't bullying niggas the week before. They weren't just like, hey, I fucking stuck Tony's head in the toilet. Watch what I do next week. They're not upping the ante like that. <laughs> it's the other way around. I hope that's what they were doing what and nobody took week. them serious. Fuck, what man. What did I see what you did? Oh, <laughs> like, that's just the like, craziest scenario. <laughs> like fucking James is, is narrating his own episode oh. of Dragon Ball Z. And he's like, this week on fucking Dragon Ball <laughs> fucking James, I shoved Tony's head in the toilet and gave him a swirly. But what's going to happen next week? Find out next time on Dragon <laughs> Ball James. James. And the next week, James comes to that <laughs> fucking oh, no. school. <laughs> And he's like, hey, Tony. And Tony's like, no, no. And Tony doesn't even get his sentence out. James is like, I told you, bitch. House. House. Like, I did not mean Dude, to go wait, that deep, How though. glorified he was in what he was doing. <laughs> oh. uh, I did not mean to go that deep. I don't even. We're supposed to be talking about fucking the cure for the coronavirus. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and the fuck just happened? I mean, that could be a cure. Oh. Well, get, the cur- the, if you get your fucking head blown off, you don't have to worry about having coronavirus. So. The That's corona true. was the cure. He's getting shot at school. Because <laughs> you're not in school. <laughs> it ain't been one school <laughs> shooting. <laughs> <shooting. laughs> <laughs> it ain't been one school shooting since, like, March, nigga. Corona saved them all. <laughs> oh, no. It's every every curse is a blessing. But that's true, though. So I mean, no, I, I do there, remember. Hasn't there been like less mass shootings, or has there been? Well, I think there's been mass. You would, I would have thought there'd be more. Probably, but there was definitely like a statistic. I don't remember if it was March, maybe it was April. But I remember seeing the statistic. There hasn't been a fucking school shooting for the first time, and whatever. And like that, fucking sad. Like the fact that right. every month or whatever there's a school shooting. It it has gotten worse. Like obviously. When we were kids, that was Columbine. You yeah. know what I mean? And I remember reading that in like little bit on the school bus in a magazine that like I got from school where all it was over the fucking about. news. Yeah. And then I don't think there was anything until like the Virginia Tech shooting, which I think we were adults. Maybe that we was crazy school, though. But I think yeah. we were adults at that time. But then it's not Obama's fault, but it seemed like once he became it president. It kept going, yeah. But, uh, yeah. Well, I don't even think you could say Obama. What's he got to do with no, that? No, I'm just saying. No, it was a like, timeline. Like, timeline. Like, timeline. Timeline. Like, it literally started in, like, 2008. Obviously. Where it got worse. Like, it, it, like, sped up. To or where, maybe it was, it was covered. It maybe was, it was always yeah, there and then, it was just wasn't okay, covered. Okay, well, in that same token, you could be like, oh, fucking Metallica came out with a new record. That happens to me when school shooting started. I'm, like, but I'm not <laughs> saying it had anything to do with Obama. I'm just using Slipknot that as... Slipknot came out with a record in 2008. Whoa. And it was called All Hope is Gone, so there you go. Maybe that was what it was. Well, Don't say that, because now... Well, yeah, Slipknot, did you cause the school shootings? Hmm. Nah, I'm fucking around. But no, I'm just saying it did happen starting like 2008. It started ramping up, and it's still going yeah, on. It didn't just line. end in 2000 fucking 16. When do you believe some of the school shootings were fake? No, I'm not. I don't. I'm not a big conspiracy person. Like I don't think that. I don't know. Maybe the farthest I'll go is that 9/11 was an inside job. Maybe, but even then, I'm not on board with that. Did he start? Well, I know that's your your sort of thing, and that's cool to have. It just. 
I never put too much thought. I'm one. I guess maybe I'm sheepish when it comes. Oh wow, out. that's a big that's that's a big uh, rectangle. That graph is like it's like a bunch of little buildings and then tell us what you're looking up exactly. Right, so, um, from 1971. Hold up, bro. You were blowing my fucking mind with the technology, and I'm not even fucking lying. <laughs> with a screenshot. <laughs> a screenshot. <laughs> and I know that you be having shit on the background, but that's caught me off guard. Yeah, I'm gonna that's put this. Yeah, I'm gonna put this this graph. Well, since we're talking about it. So this is a uh, number of uh, incidents per year since 1971 all the way up to 2019. So you had 20 in 1970, or 1971. Um, 18 the year after, then you go up, there's a big bump up in 19, what is that, 87, 88, 89. And you're saying this is specifically school shooting? These are, these are uh, okay, I'm K sorry, through 12. K through 12 shooting database. Since 1970, this is the, like, basically, whole, like, minus college schools. Then you go on up to 1989, 17. There's a big bump in 1989, which is 38. Then you go up to 95, 43, even to two th like 2003, there was 31. So it's like, it's getting, it's growing. 2003, from what I can see, is one of the lower ones. Not the lowest, but it's yeah, one of the lowest. 2011 is one of the lowest ones, and 20 is one of the lower ones. And then it just goes, it, from it's 2013 on, shit just starts going crazy because it bumped up it bumped up from 2003 to two, uh 12, 2009 so there's like a big gun, yeah, gap so right there that, a big wave and then look at this big jump right there so that, that huge wave. wave before yeah. it starts going down again what's what's that year this one no 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 yeah that wave but the, the pinnacle of that one. What that year one right that? there yeah that is 2006. 2006? Yep. Okay, so... That's 2000, yeah. So, Bush was still... Like I was saying, it's not... It wasn't... Yeah, yeah. Uh, it's, clearly, it's been happening since, what, you said 71 the first 71, year? 71, yep. So, so... Since it seemed like it needed to be something that, that should be tracked mm -hmm. since 1970, obviously, because, yeah, you, you know, before... You think about that, that probably is why there's a... I don't think they made the graph in 1971, but that's when they noticed that it was they were they started the they said it started seeing a trend right right so you said the second to last one is 2019 or 2018 so that's the second to last one is 2019 okay and 20 2020 is still and that's perfect. still fucking sad bro because look sad, at 2020 man. schools been out since yep since march yep. so with two fucking months and 34. what's that number 34 god damn <laughs> Son of a bitch. It's a big jump. It's a big drop off since 2019. And I want to clarify, this is U.S., right? I wonder. Yeah, this is United most States. I wonder if this don't. is like Corona is obviously resetting a whole lot of stuff. Look at the. So, do you think that maybe this is going to hopefully help bump that down a little bit, and then maybe the school shootings will start going down? Because now that we're looking at the statistics, Corona is definitely this isn't going to go higher than 100. I mean, I would hopefully put money on it. You but forget. But they're still not you going to put people. Forget. Maryland's not going to put people in school listen, yet. Listen, listen. You forget how eager some Americans are. Like, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> they are in school right now in places like Florida and Texas and shit. So, but still, that's but still. still that's but to, to say that's that number, and like I said, I know some like places. The first day we went back to school. Shoot. I think there will be no more school period. Something, 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 noise. But yeah, that's still crazy, man. I mean, obviously, 2020 is a big fall off from 2019. 2019 was the highest one. What are we looking up now? Yeah, that's pretty much... No, I was just going... And I want to say, that. that's, that's just, just school, Just making sure though. that we covered that so that we're good. That's Rap. just school. Yeah, yeah, that was just school. There's still, obviously, other events where things happen, but... Right. Are you excited for right? But but the good thing up? is it's gone down. So there oh. we go. On a, on a on a light note, it's gone. School shootings have gone down. You said, am I excited for concerts to come back? Like concerts, shows, things like that. Are you? I'm not going to any time soon. But is I'm there glad anything that the people back? that want to go, I know I just looked in the thing. It was saying something about Pearl Jam, but it's not coming soon. But they did sell out. You sure they're not like streaming or something? That's no, it's sold out. You you can't sell out of streams. Would you? But it was a smaller venue. Would you yeah. go to a show in Maryland if, like, they said, "Oh, hey, we're doing this now"? Fuck Not it. right now. No, just because I, I would still want to social distance. I would still want to wear my mask, and that's just not rock and roll. You know? 
Well, like they've done concerts in other states where they it's like fifty percent capacity and everybody has to have a mask and they hand masks out at the but door. But you can't mosh like that, you know. They're not letting motherfuckers mosh. They're not letting people crowd surf. You don't have to, but it's to me. I think it's still what about very, any other type of show. You say it's not a rock concert. If it was like a like, like comedi- like a, um, like a stand-up, stand-up show, that's a little different because it's less physically involving for the audience. So you can have. Two seats or three seats. But I'm saying, like, some people, the reason I'm asking, some people are all like, they are done going to any major public gatherings for the next, like, five years. I'm not that way. No, I'm not like that at all. I'm not like that at all. Oh, 2020. We got a show tomorrow and I'll be there. And I'm there. 2022, I want to travel again. I want to go to other countries. Uh, So, not 2021? Monetary wise. If I had the money, if I was loaded and I could afford it, then yeah, next year at some point, I'd be cool. But I don't. So, let me save them some money. 2022, that'd be good. You know what I mean? Like, if if, if tomorrow they were like, if coronavirus has been um, eradicated, there's no more coronavirus, I wouldn't do it. You would have had the money. I would give it some, some more time. But, no, like... That's a good idea, though. When it comes to, like, stand-up or other shows where you, it wouldn't hurt to fucking be socially distanced, mm-hmm. like, if the movie theater opened up and there's... A couple seats in between. You know what Like I mean? they do on planes, pretty much. Then I'd be for that, but would I... Would you fly anywhere right now? Yeah, I mean, you know, I've always cared to drive traveling, but I wouldn't be a, a apprehensive. Like, as long as there's rules in place. Right. So, just like with work right now, there's rules. Like, they'll have a, a little white table that's probably like, like a table like that. You guys can't see it's not a camera. But it's about six feet in length, maybe. Right. And then there's one person at each end, whereas before all this, you could probably comfortably sit four people and then six people all together if they were the ends. But now you're just at the ends. So there's a social distance. You got to wear your mask. Shit like that. Like, So I would get on the plane if it was the six feet was being um, adhered to and you still have to wear Do you get mask. that way? Like if you're at like a grocery store and somebody stands too close, do you say anything to them? I don't say anything to them, but... Um, you just fart. <laughs> <laughs> you just that, where the hell did that'll make that them, come from? That'll make them back up. I don't that'll fart because back. I, I, I back up. I, I wanted to surprise them, and when you got your phones, you don't know how loud. Mm-hmm. I'm sure if you gave her a good push, you could probably gauge it. Well, I want I would want the fart to be silent, and then the person behind me like, "Whoa, what the? That's this dude's ass," and then back. That's this dude. I want them. To, I wanted to hit him slowly, as opposed to burn, and they're like, "Oh shit!" Oh no. <laughs> Uh, yeah, the audible sound. But if that was yeah, the case, you, I would you, turn you, around and be like, I'm sorry, that's just my natural defense to this six feet. Like, you, like it's automatic. And, and they didn't back up, so you just kept backing into and farting. Until <laughs> just kept, whoa, 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 what are you doing? Well, if that's, oh, well, if they're saying, whoa, 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 then okay. But if they're just still standing there, then and we you're both, on them. You're basically we both, grinding. Then we both probably have some sort of very weird them. fetish. You're grinding right. hard. Where right. I got to fart on people, and they got to stand there and take it then. They're like, oh, this is fucking a soulmate. I've never thought I would to meet the, <laughs> this person that just matched my fucking yin and yang, you know? That's disgusting. But they no, just, they yeah. just grab the top of that ass and just bring it back oh. to you. Like you, didn't, you didn't expect <laughs> that, did you? <laughs> that ass you didn't up. expect that. <laughs> I wouldn't have. I wouldn't have. Like, and then, like, you can't, you can't fart anymore, and they're just like, fuck, fuck, and they just give you. Hold up! I'm gonna say, where did they just hit me? Fart like, back of the head. I'm gonna say that seems like a very bad fart. Hit. Like fart. <laughs> they punch you in the stomach. Somebody might fart from that, cause you know farts yep. are like nerves sometimes. Yep. And they're like, oh, I can't fart. You can fart. <laughs> 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 Uh, farts are disgusting, man. Like, they are gross. Oh, fuck you. Because I've said that. And you hold up. Hold up. Don't be me wrong. I do it. I do it. I'm not going to be fucking cute about this shit. I'm farting around you motherfuckers. Wait, I'm going to be cute about what? How do you fart? And you be like, hmm. Like, this motherfucker will fart. No, and I try don't. to make what a are you fucking, talking about? Like, try to cover it up with any sound. He'll be <laughs> no, like. No, no, I don't. He'll be like this. He'll fart. And he'll be like, oh, I got a text. Like, nigga, you didn't get a text. <laughs> He farted and I got a text. Any sort of sound to try to cover it up. I may have been like, lie, bro. I may have been like, what kind of car horn was that? Like, right, I'm right, but I'm just saying you'll make a sound. Like any sort of noise to try to cover the shit up, bro. There's a frog in here. <laughs> Man, I don't think. He'd be sitting in the car, car silent. 
Everybody's, about, never, everybody's about to go to sleep with the driver, and Jimmy goes, burn. You're like, guys, do you see that Sasquatch on the side of the road? I've never. <laughs> That's he's that's making why. shit up. I have never, <laughs> I've never seen a Sasquatch. Oh, but either way, you like to. Be, <laughs> either way, you like to get cute about farts, bro. Like you're the only person that does it or something. You get cute about. And, and we're going to fucking like, like, like he's the only person that does it. We're just going to fucking go find the tree and lynch this motherfucker because his ass makes noise. <laughs> that's how weird you are with it. Like me, when I'm around the homies, I farted on you guys. Like, I've weaponized farts before. <laughs> and there's nothing wrong. <laughs> when you're with the homies, you can do that. Like, if I'm on a date, if I'm on a date, I'm not going to be like, hold up, these fucking chili beans are burnt. I'm not going to fucking cock my ass up at a date. You go ahead and get that out of the way, though, because then that's, that's all. So then going. she'll know, like, well, he's serious about his farts. <laughs> like, if I ever hear him fart in the future, I can't complain. Because then the day I'm not. Like, you could be like, I'm so happy that you came out with me. That, and I just want this moment to last forever. Hold up, hold up. The fart, the noise you just made. I'm mad this is devolved to fart jokes. SBR, we talk about a lot of uh, it's shit, gotta, But it's gotta. not fart jokes. But that, 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 that long, uh, that's one of those farts that's like right here, bro. <laughs> and when it comes out, you're like, oh my God. I needed that. You know you've had that that fart just like right here at the top of your ribs and it just won't fucking come out. And when it does, you're like, fuck. Yeah. Better than organ. But it'd be better too if you guys are sitting across the fucking table from each other and she doesn't hear it and, and you just you guys are talking and you're like, Oh fuck, that's great. And then she's like, What's going on? And you're like, Oh, I just fucking ripped a big one. <laughs> oh my god, thank fuck, it's over. And then I would. Me. I mean, I think we talked about this before. I would want to go on a date. And I want to go on a date with somebody and fuck it up. Right. Intentionally have a horrible date. Yeah. And like, obviously, they don't know. And when, then like, she's got her food or whatever. And you're like, well, what's that broccoli? And you're just fucking taking it <laughs> off her plate and fucking. What is that? Like, what, you gotta drink if it that could somehow be recorded, just to see how long it would take for them to just be like, um, I'm done. Like whether they say something or they just be like, I'm going to the bathroom or they just like. Get up and you see them walk out the fucking door. That, that would be interesting to see. I've never done I it. I want every time my nipple pops out for Ron to zoom in on it. <laughs> Tell him that, man. I'm you know, trying to you know he's him. got it. I'm trying to keep <coughs> But no, I started a new job and um, it's very physically demanding. Like, I can handle it because, like, I'm not a bitch. But if you're like a 60 year old person or just a person that doesn't too much. Want like to sweat, oh no, you! I love 60 year old prostitutes, bro. Those are the only ones I pick up. Oh, your description of your new job just made it sound like that's what you do. Um, sex is easy, bro. Sex is dumb easy. You just bend over and take. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm imagining if so I'm a. Pro- I'm imagining if I'm a prostitute. The train not was just never set. like on the track, really, but like now the train is just fucking in the woods. So the it's like when you're, on, it's like the, when you're the conductor's up. fucking drunk. Like it is, it happens. No, but my new job, it's very fucking physically. Obviously, I'm not gonna say where I work, but um, it's very physically demanding. Like it's 12-hour shifts. Again, this is something you win. I went into knowing it's not like I thought I was gonna work eight-hour shift and. They're like, hey, we need you for four more fucking hours. And I'd be like, God damn. Because right. that you wouldn't be prepared for, most people. But um, I know what I'm, I went into. And uh, it's just you stand there, you literally do the same thing over and over and over for the 12 hours minus your breaks that you get while you're there. And they're strict on, like, the work you're doing, like, making sure you're doing your work. Like, if you're taking a, I think I, I think I was talking to you about it. If you take a uh, bathroom break every hour, even if it's for five minutes, they're gonna be like, "What the fuck's up with you?" Right? They are looking. They are looking. Yeah, shit like that. And even if it's five minutes, but if you do it every hour, they're like, "Do, do they have like, like managers?" I drink a fucking twelve pack of beer before I clocked in. No, God damn it, I gotta piss. They have people working that are managers, and they have people that walk up to other people and they'll have like a laptop. If a motherfucker comes up to you with a laptop, they're gonna talk to you about something. Along about your productivity or something, you you made an error somewhere or continually made an error. If you if you make one mistake, the motherfucker's not going to show up. Right. But if you continually are doing something, obviously they want to 
fix that. Not necessarily like with a coaching or shit like that. I don't know. It hasn't happened to me, but they want to at least fix it, talk right. to you, so you can stop doing it. But um, like every job. But no, there's not a manager standing <laughs> like every over job. Like, you, the and they're just what they're overseeing like, everybody. They're, they're not and an overseer. To, right. Just, that's that's what I was kind of envisioning. Like there was an overseer if you or fuck something. Up, they come talk to you like any job, but this particular job is just more demanding. Again, physically, yeah, but I'm not complaining about that. It's mm. just what you're actually doing. Like I made sure. Like I've only done it three days. I did my first week. That first night, and I'll talk about the first night in insanity. But like I'm doing my work. The, the woman that was overseeing me, because you do have a person, but there's, even then she wasn't there the whole time because she had several people. Right. But she would come and check my numbers, and she would tell me if I was doing good or in, like, what I should get to like while I'm in this period. But I think it was that last night or the second to last night, I asked her, like, when my training period's done, what's my goal? And she told me what it was, and I'm like, okay, like, at least I'll, if I know... I can, you know, try to work towards it. Because I don't want to... And when I've had jobs in the past, other than like Uber and Instacart, because you don't have coworkers necessarily. Right. Um, I would make friends with people. I would, you know, interact with people. I don't want to do any of that shit. I just want to go to fucking work. You just want to go and work. And do my fucking job. And then go to fuck home. Right. You know? So right. like, when I go on lunch, I go eat. And then I go back to work. <laughs> and then the other two breaks... I don't even go anywhere. I just, I usually stay at my little workstation because the place is fucking huge. Right. So even if you got 35 minutes to do something, you're going to spend 10 of those minutes going to and from all together where you're going. So Would it be better to like pack your lunch and then just have it there so you can just, that's you what just I'm chill where you are? Because the, uh, like I said, when I go to lunch, I've been going to my car because I've had my food in the car, but it just eats up a chunk of your time. Right. And it's very strict. Like, you clock back in as soon as you clock back in that work's supposed to start you know what I mean you like, just you start do they keep like numbers and quotas yeah you see you have your numbers quota? on the little screen and do people pass by you and look at your numbers and are like <laughs> no I, like I said the woman that was my trainer essentially she would look at the numbers for obvious reasons but she never was like you're not doing good enough she told me what she wanted me to get to that night and I got to it it's again it's not hard it's mm -hmm. just Obviously, as the night goes on, if you're working 12 hours, give or take, you're gonna your your production is gonna get go down right throughout the night because you're tired. Just like if you're in the gym working out, you're not gonna lift. You're not gonna do the same amount of reps right earlier that you did later on. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Shit like that, or you're gonna struggle with it. So it's the same way. But um, that first night, the first night that we started later, like I worked from 6:30 to 7. And that night we didn't even go in until nine, but we didn't even start working until probably almost midnight. Uh -huh. And um, so it was relatively easy, right? But it was weird. And then that second night, towards the end, like we had the third break, I go in and I started working. Before before that, that second night, you can see people like there's a person that's in front of you in a way, or they're behind you and they're closer. They're like maybe 10 feet behind you. Like there's shit between you, but you see them. And there's a person that's in front of you and they're maybe like 15 feet away. Right. But like when that first night, all of us that were working, that they were new, we were relatively close. So I'm working and like the, 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 the trainer, she's telling me things not to do and what to do. And she, so I'm like listening to her. So the, those motherfuckers on the laptop were, were coming around and I would see them talking to the other new people. And I'm like, fuck, man, I hope they don't come to me. Like, I'm trying to do my very fucking best. Right. And they didn't. But after that last break, the last break is like 5, 10 in the morning, some shit, 20-minute break. I clocked in, I'm doing my work, and this motherfucker walks up to me. And have you seen, have you seen the memes where it's like Lisa Simpson at the computer and, and Maggie comes up behind her and people say, oh, I need you to go ahead and clock out? Yeah. Like those types of memes. <laughs> this motherfucker rolled up on me like, he rolled up and he was like, hey, go ahead and walk out. And he said it 
almost aggressively. And I'm thinking, what the fuck did I do? Like, I didn't say anything to so him. you were I'm thinking, like, yeah. What the fuck did I do? Like, now these niggas fired me on my fucking second day. <laughs> but right. they took us all to, like, this place where we just standing. Like, it's the new people and then other people. I don't know if they were new. I think we all did the same It's like job, a campus or something? It sounds like somewhat, pretty big. Somewhat. Yeah. It's a place you go like at the beginning factory. of the night to get your task. But we're all there. And, like, it was maybe 5.45 when we're getting there. So I'm like, what the fuck ever. I guess they got an announcement or whatever. Mm-hmm. Time's going by. I'm trying not to be on my phone because I'm on the clock. Right. But time's going by. I'm checking my phone every now and then. I'm like, fuck it. I'm just going to cross my arms and hit the little WrestleMania now. You know what I mean? <laughs> but um, I, when I actually wake up, I'm like, fuck, man. This is fucking 6.45 now. I got 15 minutes to be here. And no one said anything to us. And then when 7 hit, people started rolling out. And I'm like, well, I guess I'm fucking roll out too, right? Right. So the next night I asked my trainer, I was like, why did we end early yesterday? And she was like, oh, the conveyor belt was fucked up. So we couldn't work. So I was like, oh, cool. So I He was, just said it like that. He just... She said it. She, right, right. She just, she said, just it. said it like that. But like no one said anything it was the, the night of. Like if I hadn't asked, I would have probably never known. Right. So right. when she said that, I was thinking to myself, hope that fucking belt fuck up tonight. Like, <laughs> I hope we ain't got... What the fuck are you doing? I hope we ain't got to do that shit tonight. Recently here in Baltimore, yeah. Yeah. yesterday, yeah, yeah, that's like that's four right. fucking houses exploded, like a gas explosion, and um, I think they initially there was one person did. They've confirmed the second person did. Was it? But more injured, obviously. But it was just random gas explosion. And yep. I think one of the houses across the street. I saw the um, the ring footage, the ring alarm thing. It might right. have been ring specifically, but you see. The house just blow the fuck up, and you see like the debris and shit. You did. There's video of that from that one particular. Look that up. I want to see that. that one particular. Look that up. No I one was it. like standing outside of this house with an eight millimeter camera. Right, or right. But it, but like, it's got like an off. Three minutes. Two. One, but you know, but that Beirut, the, like the Beirut thing. It's like. Oh yeah, I forgot about that, dude. But that that's was, we did that on purpose. But. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say it. I didn't say it. And I'm not a, I don't. Uh, it's going these up. These are his opinions. It's going these up. Are his I'm not so afraid right. of the government. I've already lived in fear of them. I am being held here against my will. The fuck, the government. I've been threatened. I'm not afraid. You know, they're going to either get me or not get me. I don't know any secrets. I don't know anything. It's not like I went to the fucking Pentagon at one time in the sixth grade and I stole a file on who killed, actually killed fucking President Kennedy. I didn't do that. I'm winking with my left eye so the camera can't see it. But <laughs> <laughs> you sold yourself out. All right, I'm, I'm going to get home, it. and Rick's going to be dead. And I'm like, oh, Rick committed. Oh, Rick, no, not Rick, Rick hung himself. And then as I'm saying that, some fucking G-man's going to run up behind me and put his fucking hand around my mouth. Like, no, we did, bitch. But we're taking you. And I'm like, oh, shit. Then I'm going to get implicated for Rick's murder. And I know how it works. I don't know any secrets. 9-11 was an outside job, bro. <laughs> Bush had nothing job. to do with it. I'm winking with my eyes open so you guys can't see it. But <laughs> it's a mess. It's a great I can't find the video. I'm it's sorry if mess. I got Ron and Jimmy and the two people off camera killed because of my secret spilling. <laughs> 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 His secret spilling. I'm sorry I blew a whistle, okay? Don't Who worry, doesn't we'll, love whistles? We'll cut that out. And it Don't doesn't worry. matter if they cut it out because the NSA and the TSA already, and the FBI listening. and the CIA and Russia, they're listening. It's like 18 phones in this room. They hear us. <laughs> the government comes and Will Smith's me. You know what I mean? What is Will Smith to you? Well, from enemy of the state, I mean. Oh, okay, okay. Or if they make my wife fucking have an entanglement. I don't give a fuck. I don't have a wife. <laughs> my wife has an entanglement. I meant enemy of the state. I'm sorry, Will. I know other things about you are more recent. Why am I talking directly to Will Smith? Can somebody tag him so he can see this? <laughs> Please, somebody tag him. Somebody tag him in, in Twitter or Instagram or whatever the fuck social media he has. That way he can respond and then we get some followers. Because right now I'm literally just talking to I don't even know if this the fucking air. camera's the recording. Air. I'm just talking. <laughs> right.